Hi, I'm Lynn. And hi, I'm Leslie. And we're here today to introduce you to the Go Big Snails Trail 12 inch die. I'm real excited about this one. I love this block. It's a lot of fun, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also a bob, so a block on board. Mm -hmm. So you get all the shapes that you need to on one die board to make the Snails Trail block. So behind us is the swirling uh, Snails Trail quilt. And this is the pattern that comes in the die packaging. So uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about this particular design? Sure, the snail's trail, we just put it on point basically, and, or I'm on squareness, and it takes me back to the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely mm -hmm. get that feel from uh -huh. it, and uh, I love the, the graphic of the, of the batiks, and um, it's just a really fun block, and the 12-inch size. Size, and the movement of the block as we go around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, so let's go. We're gonna we're going to show you how to cut with this. Now, with the Go Big dies, they're compatible with the Go Big electric fabric cutter. So uh, the way that this is designed on the board, with two layers of fabric, you can cut an entire block in one pass. So if you cut up to six layers, you get three three complete blocks. That's very amazing. And uh, mm -hmm. lots of different uh, quarter squares and uh, half squares and squares on here. And uh, you want to make sure that you're cutting on the lengthwise grain. So if you have your selvage edge, make sure the selvage edge is facing you, so or your belly button, however it's easier for you to remember. Um, and then that will ensure that your lengthwise grain is running the length of the cutter as it goes under the roller. Okay, so that's how we've got it set up here. And I have this cut so that uh, it's just uh, the width of my, um, my a collection of shapes here. And then I'm using the two-tone foam to make sure that I'm covering all of my shapes. So, and then we're going to uh, layer our mat on top. And it's electric, I gotta remember to turn it on. And then we just let it go. There we go. And so it's, I love this part. It's magic. Yes. <laughs> and as this is going, if I needed to cut two and a half inch strips or other shapes, or if I had another snail's trail die, I could get, be getting that um, set up and ready to go next. Okay. So um, we've got all of our pieces cut here. I'll just take away the extra. <laughs> So once your pieces are all constructed, the snail's trail is really probably a more challenging quilt block. Most would consider just from the nature of the different sizes of each piece. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice not to have to do any math either because the die board did that all for us. Uh, so to start, I would recommend this one. I wouldn't necessarily try to chain piece. I like to lay out all my pieces to make sure that I get the spin of the trail going um, correctly. Uh, otherwise, it's just a creative design opportunity if you mm -hmm. get something mixed up. Um, so I'd lay out all my pieces. And then to start in our construction aspect, we're going to start with the center, which is a four patch. So I'm going to sew my two squares together and sew those to create a four patch. And a snail's trail is really a square and a square block. So we're just going to repeatedly take that four patch and put it in a square. So to do that, we're going to take our first triangles and I like to do opposite size of colors and line up from my corner to get my spin going correctly. And I'm going to sew that on. I'm then going to press out and I'm gonna take my next triangles in the opposite color and I wanna sew those on each end here. So I'm just gonna line it up. And these triangles are also already came out all notched. So the dog ears are cut off. So they just line right up here and give me my quarter inch mark, which is gonna help with the squareness of the square and a square block. Usually when we're sewing it in other traditional methods, we don't get them so square, as the name <laughs> says. So that's one of the benefits Definitely. of the Go fabric cutting system, mm -hmm. that you get that accurate cut so that everything comes out exactly the way that you want it to. And so I'm just gonna sew on to my opposite side. And again, I would press this out and I'm gonna do that on each round, keep pressing out, because they don't actually intersect. So I'd give that a pressing out. And then the one thing I do wanna point out to you all is that right here, we have some extra fabric on each corner. So it didn't come right to the point of our four patch. And this is correct. If we didn't have that here when we sew our next seam on, we would actually be sewing into our four patch. And so for that to end as a point, you do need to have these little corners on each of those going around. 
Okay, and then to sew my next one, I'm just going to take and turn that just one turn, and that lines me right up. So that's oops, this positioning right here. So I'm going to go right here, and then that puts me then for my next round, and I'm going to repeat that till I do four rounds. And we talked a little bit before about uh, that you could chain piece some of the pieces, but I think like for me, mm -hmm. if I was just doing this for the first time, I would probably sew my individual blocks and go through this to make sure that I got yes. everything in the it's right place. It's always a good idea to do a test block or two right. to get comfortable with the pattern and design. And mm -hmm. I would say I've attempted a four color snails trail and I, uh, I would start, if you've, never, uh, if you've never sewn one of these blocks before, I'd start with a two color yeah. and get your feet wet with that and then, then move on to the four color. Right. Uh, both, four color is just more puzzle pieces. <laughs> exactly. And you can do a three color mm -hmm. too. Uh, there's just so many um, variations that you can do with this block. And then we were also talking about, uh, because you have all of these great shapes that finish to 12 inches, this right here, you could create this block, just that block could be in your quilt. Right, it could be a center of one of your other mix and match. Right, exactly. Um, and uh, this uh, particular block, it coordinates with our 12 inch mix and match sets mm -hmm. and our eight inch mix and match sets and our six inch mix and match sets. You could really play and have a lot of fun and this is a very versatile uh, die to include in your library. Which is why we're so excited about it. That's right. <laughs> so uh, you can find this pattern on AccuQuilt.com um, as well as many other patterns and uh, go to our blog to get inspired as well as Quilter Spotlight on our website. And you can also upload your wonderful Snails Trails uh, creations on Quilter Spotlight. Which we would love to see. That's right. And you can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram for more inspirational ideas. With AccuQuilt, you cut time so you can quilt more.